Hi everyone, Miss Hamlet here with another lesson in our unit, Astronomy Space Systems. Here is your focus question. What is the universe and what are galaxies? Here is a lesson objective. I can recall the instruments and technology that scientists use to explore the universe. Here is your language objective. I can tell write and use pictures to show the instruments and technology that scientists use to explore the universe. Before we read, let's think. You are going to do a see, think, and wonder chart in your notebook. You're going to answer this question. What do you know about universes and galaxies? First, you will copy this chart in your notebook or in a document. Then you will look at this picture. Write down what you see, what you think, and what you wonder about this picture. In the column that says see, you can start your answers by writing I see. In the column that says think, you can start your answers with I think. And in the column that says I wonder, you can write questions using the five W's, who, what, where, when, why, or the one H, how. Or you can start your answer with, I wonder. Of course, using a question mark to end the question. You can pause the video now to complete this activity. When you are finished, you may press play to continue with the video. Before we read, let's look at some of the focus words that we've been talking about from previous lessons and what we will also see in today's reading. Universe. We know that the universe is time and space and energy and matter all together, including planets, moons, stars, galaxies, and like I said, all other forms of matter and energy. Instrument. These are the tools and technologies that scientists use in order to observe, measure, and collect data of whatever they are studying. Space station. This is a, an instrument or a probe where scientists can actually take a space shuttle to the space station and work in outer space inside of this space station. It also includes probes and satellites and lots of other instruments that they can use while they are in outer space in order to conduct their research. Probe. We know that a probe is an instrument that scientists use to land on a particular planet or to be in outer space in order to collect data and they receive that information via radio waves. Orbit. Orbit is to go or revolve around one particular item or object. For example, the Earth orbits the sun, which means we go around and around the sun. We do not orbit any other planets or any other stars except for the sun. And a spacecraft. We're going to learn about more about spacecrafts, which are very similar to probes. And these are particular instruments that scientists use in order to collect data, just like probes, just like in the space station and just like rovers. And we're going to learn more about this today. So I will read the text to you first. As I am reading, you will carefully read along with me and use the pictures on the slide to help you to understand what we are reading about. Then you can pause the video to read this part of the text on your own and answer the question at the bottom of the screen. Humans explore space. Probes, rovers, satellites, and telescopes are spacecrafts that travel without humans on board. But there have also been spacecrafts that have taken human crews into space. Women and men from many different nations have orbited Earth, and some even visited the moon. On May 5, 1961, Alan Shepard became the first American to travel to space. 
This mission gave scientists information about how the human body behaves during space travel. You can pause the video now to read this to yourself. When you are finished, you may press play to continue. Here is your question. What is a spacecraft? A spacecraft is an instrument that can travel to space with and without humans inside of it. Humans landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969 during the Apollo 11 mission. American astronauts Edwin Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landed their lunar module, the Eagle, on the moon. They collected rock and soil samples. They also conducted experiments to learn more about the moon's environment. Here is your question. Who landed on the moon in the Apollo 11 mission? American astronauts Edwin Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landed on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission. Space Station. Did you know that there is a place in space where humans can live for days, weeks, or even months? The International Space Station, or ISS, is a moving laboratory in space. It orbits Earth once every 90 minutes. Scientists live there while they conduct experiments. Here is your question. What is the International Space Station? The International Space Station is a moving spacecraft that orbits the Earth every 90 minutes. Scientists can live there while they conduct experiments in space. Humans may travel to Mars and beyond. Humans have not traveled past the moon, but scientists are working to develop ways to someday help them land on Mars. One of the most important developments is NASA's Orion spacecraft. Orion's first mission will be uncrewed. That means humans will not be on this spacecraft the first time it is sent out on a mission. It will travel thousands of miles past the moon. This is farther than any spacecraft built for human space exploration has ever gone. Here is your question. How are scientists trying to solve the problem of humans not being able to travel past the moon? Scientists are trying to solve the problem by creating new spacecrafts and instruments like NASA's Orion spacecraft to be able to travel farther than the moon. They want to try to get humans to land on Mars. So now you can continue on with this video by completing the independent work on this graphic organizer that your teacher has created for you. Or you can do either of these exit slips to show your learning for today. You are going to answer the question, what are the instruments and technology that scientists use to study the universe? You can use words from the word bank like instrument, universe, measure, observe, rover, probe, satellite, space station, or spacecraft. You can start your answer using these sentence starters such as scientists use, the types of instruments and technology used are, or in order to study the universe scientists use. I hope this was helpful today and I will see you in the next video. Bye! -bye.